Hello, Northwood students. We are going to have some fun today. If you remember, back over the last couple of weeks when we've talked about music, we've talked about how we can hear sounds because of vibration. And remember back when Squawker taught us about um, the word, actually, no, it wasn't Squawker. It was actually in our book, Sounds, that talked about heartstrings and how they vibrate. And vibrate is when things move back and forth very quickly, like this rubber band. If you look real close, when I pluck the rubber band, you can see it vibrating. That's because there's tension, which means it's kind of tight around both of my fingers here. And so when I pluck it, it bounces up and down, back and forth, and it's making vibration. If you listen really, really close, let's see if you can hear it. Did you hear the sound it made? Now watch when I just like pull it. Do you hear any sounds? No, there's no vibration going on. But once we use the vibration, you can hear the sound. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use rubber bands to make our own homemade instruments. Now these aren't gonna be like world-class instruments that you see in the orchestra, but they will be fun tools for you to experiment with as you learn more about sound and music. So before we get too far, what I want you to do is get your supply bag. This will be the supply bag that you picked up in April. You should have picked it up this week. If you haven't picked it up yet, that's fine, but make sure to come to school and pick up your supply bag as soon as you can, because inside of your supply bag, you will find four rubber bands, four-ish. Hopefully there are four, but there should be four rubber bands that look like this in your bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these to make some instruments. So what I have here, actually maybe I'll just bring some stuff over. First I have this uh, Kleenex box. Now, Kleenex boxes are really, really good for instrument making because you can take your rubber band and put it around the Kleenex box. And because there's already this hole here, by the way, it works even better if there are no Kleenexes inside. What you can do, is I don't know if you saw that, I'm gonna take my rubber band and pull it, not so hard that it breaks, so I'm gonna put it around my Kleenex box and slide it down until the rubber band is over the center of the uh, Kleenex cutout here. So what I'm gonna do though, is I want you to watch close, see what you notice. Do you see how the rubber band is vibrating? You can hear the sound it makes. Depending on how tight that rubber band is, it's gonna make some different sounds. So if I kind of pull some of it to the side like this and hold it, now listen. It has a higher pitch. And if I let the rest of the rubber band go, whoop, here we go. Now it has a lower pitch. You can even put a few different rubber bands over your, your Kleenex box if you want. And sometimes it helps if your rubber bands are different sizes. I'm pretty sure all of ours are the same size that we sent you. So are mine up here. But you can get a few different rubber bands on here. And then, you've just made your own Kleenex guitar. It's that easy. You just pluck these rubber bands, and as the rubber bands vibrate, they make a sound. You can even try to do strum them all at the same time and make a chord. Now, if you don't have a Kleenex box at home, that's okay. You know, not everybody has Kleenex boxes at home. I don't have Kleenex boxes at home, I don't think right now. But what you can do is you can find just about anything. Maybe you have a marker laying around. This one's tricky because you can really probably only fit one rubber band around it. What you can do is take a rubber band on either side of the marker. It's one of my, it's, this is a good fine motor practice here, all right? And then what you can do is, well, let's see if we can get it to work. If you put a little space between there and plug it, you can hear the different sound it makes as it vibrates. This one's not gonna be as loud because there's not as much space, but you can also use something like a pencil case. Maybe you have a pencil case at home, all right? You can take your rubber band and put it around your pencil case, all right? And try to get it to vibrate. 
Even better is if you open up the pencil case, make sure probably to take your stuff out. Yeah, there we go. And now put your rubber band around the opening. Here we go. Can you hear that sound? Isn't that neat? Maybe we try another one. Let's get two on here. We're gonna have two strings to play. All right, let's see if they sound different. Here's one. Here's two. Oh. Look at those strings vibrating. They're helping us hear that sound. They're making the sound. Woo! Maybe we can do three. Let's add another one. Let's add a third one on here. All right, let's give it a try. See if I have enough room. I think we can fit it. This one's a little, oh, barely on here. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Now you can make your own little song. other things that you can find around your house to use as well. Maybe even a chair, a notebook, a bowl, a cup. A cup would work. Ah, oh, I should have thought of that and had some cups out. But I do have these little chairs. I wonder if my rubber bands will fit around them. Let's find out. Oh, it might. It might. Oh yeah, it does. Let's check out how this chair does now. So I have the rubber band around it. Let's see. Oh, it's moving. Let me move it back down. Can you hear that? Listen close. Ooh, what are, what are, I wonder, put a second one on. That's pretty cool. I like that. I have one more to show you. This one is my favorite. Um, this came out of a big box today. Yeah, actually, want to see the big box? It's right here. Here's this giant box. Look how huge this box is. This came from inside of the box. So what I did was I took a rubber band and put it around and around the whole thing. And what's cool about this is since this piece of cardboard, cardboard bends so much, I can change the tension. I can change how tight the rubber band is and how loose the rubber band is. So the vibration is a little bit different depending on the tightness and if it's loose or not. So without like stretching it, this is what it sounds like right now. Pretty boring. It's barely, barely vibrating. But if I stretch it a little bit, you can get different sounds, different pitches from your, from your rubber band. Now let's try to put one more on there. Let's see. All right, let's try this again. Oh, it's a little bit harder to stretch now. Let's find out how it sounds. This rubber band, it must be, it's much tighter. It must be a little bit shorter because I'm afraid I'm gonna break this rubber band trying to stretch it. But that means it gives it a different sound. Whoop, hold on, let me move this back down here. Here we go. you can experiment with at home today. You can take your rubber bands, try putting them around all different types of things. So you can put them around markers like I did, Kleenex boxes, Amazon boxes. You can put them around cups, water bottles, pencil cases, anything that you can think of. And give it a try. See what different sounds that you can get and watch those rubber bands as they vibrate. Feel free to send us a video or a picture of the different instruments that you create with your rubber bands today. I hope you have fun with this. Bye.